Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In today's tutorial, we will create a duo tone effect in Affinity Photo. Go to File, Open, and select the image of the woman wearing the boxing glove. Go to the Adjustment panel and click Black and White. Go to the Adjustment panel again and select the Gradient Map Adjustment. Select the green color stop in the middle, then click Delete. With the Gradient Map Adjustment still open, select Reverse to change the position of the red and blue color stop. Select the blue color stop, then click the blue color to change it. You can give it a color of your choosing. For the tutorial, the colors I chose were Now, select the red color stop and give it a color of your choosing. For the tutorial, I chose And this is the end of the dual tone effect tutorial. Now, let's add our image to a poster mock-up. In the Layers panel, select all three layers. Select one layer, then hold Control and select the other two layers. Right-click on your selection and select Merge Visible. This will combine the original image and the adjustment layers together to form a single pixel layer with all of the properties from those layers. Go to the poster mock-up link in the description. Download the Underground Pillar Poster Mockup. When you click Download, another tab will open. Click the Download button on this page and the file will download. Once the file finishes downloading, locate the file. Right click on the folder and select Extract All to unzip the folder. Open the folder and right click on the Underground Pillar file. Select Open with Affinity Photo. When the mock-up file opens, go back to the dual tone picture. In the Layers panel, copy the pixel layer we merged. Go to the mock-up. In the Layers panel, paste the dual tone image. After pasting the image, drag it inside of the curve layer. In the Layers panel, go to the curve layer and delete the layer labeled Place Poster Here. Now, select the dual tone image and resize it to fit inside of the curved layer in the mock-up scene. Go to the transform panel and turn on the lock aspect ratio, then resize your image. This will keep the proportions of the image in place. After that, go to the tools panel and select the artistic text tool. Type the word warrior. Go to the font family and select the fake and font. Then set the size of the font to 47 points. With the text layer still selected, go to the swatches panel and set the color of the font to Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.